Simple hands-free solutions. This in our third presentation of magnification looks at simple hands-free solutions. Hands-free solutions offer an alternative method of achieving additional magnification to that offered by more commonly used hand and stand magnifiers. With a large variety of different designs of hands-free solutions available, this presentation aims to cover those that are more readily available and which offer magnification for individuals who present with either a low visual acuity or are simply in need of some additional magnification for specific occupational tasks, hobbies or handicrafts. The term hands-free means different things to different people. For the practitioner, hands-free may mean the prescribing of a complex spectacle device or a spectacle mounted telescope. For the patient, however, hands-free means having a solution that allows them the full use of both hands. Either way, this presentation focuses upon the more simple solutions dispensed to both visually impaired and normally sighted individuals, which remove the need for moving the magnifier across the page and over the object in view, leaving the patient with the full use of both hands to either hold a paper, a specific object, or be able to adopt a more natural posture where performing a task. So covered here are, first of all, suspended magnifiers and some innovative solutions. Simple headborne telescopic magnifiers. And spectacle clip-on or spectacle mounted magnifiers. Spectacle lens magnifiers and complex telescopes are not covered under this presentation, which focuses upon the most solutions dispensed within an average optical practice. Suspended magnifiers are also called round the neck magnifiers or chest support magnifiers. A suspended magnifier like this one is hung around the neck with a cord. Giving two times magnification, it is especially popular with both sighted and visually impaired users, allowing both hands free for the task. The feet have rubberized foam pads that keep the magnifier from slipping over the, the user's clothing, and the transparent frame allows for more light to reach the task and cuts down on any annoying shadows, especially from the wide neck or stem. The patient may wear either their distance or reading glasses and will adjust the position of the hands beneath the magnifier to find the most appropriate working distance. Although there is only two times magnification in the main lens, the user benefits from the large lens diameter which offers a large field of view. When additional magnification is needed, there is a smaller four times lens insert available in the stem. This type of magnifier is particularly popular with those needing a hands-free solution for either reading or hobbies and handicrafts as shown here in the photograph. Covered previously under stand magnifiers, this illuminated magnifier is one of a number of table clamp and stand magnifiers that also offer hands-free magnification, thanks to the long, flexible stand length. Clamped to a desk or a table, the lightweight, compact, flexible magnifier offers two and a half times magnification, but with additional LED lighting that most hands-free solutions are unable to provide. The user may wear either their distance or near correction, and like the suspended chest supported magnifier, the user will adjust the position of their hands beneath the magnifier to achieve the correct point of focus. If the reading glasses are used, however, the hands, text or object will be in focus closer in towards the lens than if they were wearing their distance correction. This flexi double-ended clamp seen here is another similar solution but without the built-in magnifier. 
With sturdy, strong clamps, one end is attached to a table or to a reading stand, whilst the other clamp is used, clamp is used to hold and position the handheld magnifier. The flexible stand holding the magnifier may then be moved around to assist view and comfort of the text or object in view beneath the lens. Headborne magnifiers. Many headborne magnifiers, like this one, are based upon a simple telescopic design. This design of this type of spectacle based magnification, however, is available for both near and for distance viewing. Giving two times magnification for near viewing options, this magnifier is made up of two sets of lenses, front and back. The distance between the two sets of front and back lenses is adjustable for each eye, allowing the user to set the precise level of focus. Focus can be achieved for each eye individually by using the cog on each side of the spectacle frame. This max detail can subsequently compensate for a wide range of individual spectacle prescriptions. Its lightweight design also fits most faces with the additional benefit of fully adjustable reinforced sides that may be altered without the need of a frame heater. By far the greatest advantage of a device of this nature is the extended working distance that many other optical designs are unable to achieve. In this picture, the magnifier is being used for a detailed task, held at approximately 40 centimetres. The design avoids the need for it to either move in close to the desk or to hold the object, in this case the toy train, close in towards the face. Using the same basic telescopic principles, a similar device has been designed for distance viewing options. This magnifier allows the user to sit at a more sociable distance from the screen, benefiting both the user and his or her family. The two times magnification is achieved at an optimal working distance of approximately 3 metres. However, fine adjustments may be made using the cog if the patient sits significantly closer or further away from the screen. Also for distance viewing, this third device in the same range has been designed for viewing far distant objects. Users benefit from the similar 2 times magnification and with a focus range beyond 3 metres it may be used for example at concerts or at outdoor sporting events. For long distance viewing events, the user benefits additionally from the anti-reflection coating, seen here on the front set of lenses. For those individuals who need or prefer to continue wearing their own spectacle prescription, a similar telescopic design is available for clipping onto the front of the user's glasses. As before, the greatest benefit of any near-viewing telescopic system such as this one is a natural reading posture provided by the 35cm working distance. As with any design of this nature, the overall weight should not be so heavy as to cause discomfort or to pull the spectacles away from the face. This telescopic system, called the Max Detail Clip, is half the weight of the previous Max Detail standalone magnifier, adding only an additional 23 grams of weight to the user's current spectacles. The system will clip onto the majority of spectacle frames. The height is also fully adjustable so that the centres of each telescope lens can be positioned to coincide with those of the user's own spectacle lenses, thus achieving maximum field of view and visual comfort. 
and when not in use the mounting is hinged so that the telescope may be flipped up and out of view. A similar system is also available for distance. Called the Max TV Clip, the same design, magnification and weight principles have been used to develop a similar product clipped over the user's spectacles to assist with television viewing. Other clip-on solutions also exist, such as this simple double lens attached to the end of a stem. The mounting is used to clip the magnifier over the spectacles and the stem is flexible so that the lenses may be adjusted up and down by the patient to assist maximum viewing comfort. Seen here, the magnifier is clipped onto the bridge of the user's spectacles. If the user has no spectacle correction, the lenses are also available as a headborne device. In lower powers, the device is available for binocular viewing, and in higher powers, monocularly. By mounting the lens on the end of the stem effectively extends the working distance for the user, which is why in this picture the gentleman is maintaining a near normal working distance and normal posture. The image here shows the 1.7x binocular magnifier for both eyes and clipped over the user's own spectacles. Whereas in this picture the same magnifier is constructed as a headborne device for non-spectacle wearers. The design can also be used in high powers of magnification monocularly, that is for one eye only, as either a clip-on magnifier or again as a headborne device such as this one. In the past, there were few simple hands-free solutions available for low vision patients without the need for complex lens prescribing by an optical practitioner. In recent years, however, the continued development of effective, lightweight and low-cost solutions have expanded this market in both design and power for both visually impaired and non-visually impaired users who seek a hands-free alternative to the more commonly used and prescribed handheld optical devices.